What's up, everybody? This is Dr. Tech Preacher. So I have a requested video from my LG community to install the latest version of Gcam on my LG Velvet to see if it's better than the stock camera app. Sure, I can do that. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys photos and videos using the stock camera app versus Gcam. Now, I'm going to throw uh, my Galaxy Note 20 Ultra as a baseline. We all know that the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is supposed to be better in photo and video between the, the LG Velvet. Now, let's go to put it to the test to see what it's all about. Now, I'm going to show you guys this, and I'm going to come back and give you guys my commentary on what I'm seeing with all these photos. So sit back, relax, and get your popcorn ready, and follow me on this journey. Let's go. So I hope you enjoyed the footage that you just saw between Gcam and the stock camera app and the Galaxy Note 20. Now remember, the Galaxy Note 20 is not going against the LG Velvet. It's just a baseline uh, device. All right, so let's talk about some of these photos. Uh, the first photo is the man. I always use the man as a reference point. Uh, when looking at the photos, I would give the edge to the stock camera app. And the reason why is because Gcam blew out the highlights. The dynamic range on Gcam was really bad on in this photo. But I would give the edge to Gcam when, when you're talking about the grass. The grass on Gcam looks a whole lot better. I mean, looking at the Galaxy Note 20, Galaxy Note 20 looks really good. And again, I'm using the Galaxy Note 20 as a baseline. Next photo was very interesting. I shot the phone in the sky and I had the sun on the side. Both photos looked it okay. The stock camera app was a little over sharpening, which this is gonna be the theme of this video because I see a lot of over sharpening with uh, the LG Velvet. On the right side, you see the photo, you see the lens flare on both devices. But when you look at the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, you see that the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra lens flare is very minimum. But looking at the ground, the details, I would give it to Gcam. But as far as the stock camera app, I would give this photo to Gcam because it gives you a whole lot more detail and it doesn't over sharpen the photo. Next, what I did is a full time zoom on all these devices. And the stock camera app and Gcam was not great at all with full time zoom. The stock camera app was way too over sharp and the Gcam was blurry. The Galaxy Note 20 Ultra was spot on. So when it comes down to full time zoom, I wouldn't pick none of them. But if I had to pick, I would pick the, the stock camera app, even though it was over sharpening. 
And lastly, let's talk about this photo right here. The stock camera app once again gave me a good shot with good dynamic range, not to blow it out as far as the highlights. Looking at the Gcam photo, it was not that great. It blew out the highlights in the background and looking at the, the, the pot there, the flower pot, it crushes the blacks. The Galaxy Note 20 Ultra was a, had a good photo here with good dynamic range and great depth of field. Just a perfect photo all the way around on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Overall, I will pick the stock camera app, even though it has some over sharpening issues, but I do like the dynamic range. Not too much depth of feel when it comes down to the photos. Now you do have portrait mode. Now I didn't have any people to take any portraits with, uh, but uh, the, the stock camera app on the LG Velvet is really good. It's just a little over sharpening. Now when it comes down to videos, again, video using the LG Velvet, you're gonna get optical image stabilization, you're gonna get smoother footage compared to Gcam. Gcam is gonna be a jumpy mess. But overall, I do like the stock camera app. Now, all the ports that you get from Gcam, some of them is good and some of them is bad. I tried a few of them out on the LG Velvet. Some of them crashed, some of them didn't. Uh, but this is the the, uh, the Gcam that I picked uh, and it's not as good as the stock camera app. I tried a few of them and they wasn't that great. This was the better one that I can find. I will leave that link down in the description below if you want to pick it up, if you want to download it yourself to test it out. I will pick the stock camera app or the LG Velvet versus Gcam, even though the stock camera app have a huge over sharpening issue, but I still will pick that over Gcam. Gcam don't, don't have dynamic range and it has, it blows out your highlights and it crushes your blacks. This is Eric the Tech Preacher from Easy Computer Solutions. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think. I love doing these uh, requested videos. Look, I got a lot of y'all guys requested videos. I'm getting to every video. Well, I'll try to get to every video that y'all guys request. Uh, and uh, so stay tuned and subscribe. This is Eric. See you guys on the next video. Peace.